Ryan Schwab with Schwab Digital, and today I'm going to show you some of the best practices for when using Gold Clip. Just because Gold Clip is a clipper, it doesn't mean you need to smash the signal with clipping. What I like to do is do minimal amount of clipping and then use the gold processing. In this situation, I have Gold Clip as first in chain in my master fader, and I'm using the default preset. The first thing I'm going to do is change the gain scaling of the waveform display. So I'm going to double click on the scale on the left until I get plus 2 and negative 12, and then I'm going to navigate to the loudest part of the song. Next, I'm going to set the input trim so the signal goes right up to zero but doesn't do any clipping. So on that turnaround, I'm getting negative 0.1 dB of clipping, which means I'm not doing any clipping, but I am doing some soft clipping because there is a bit of soft clipping that goes on preceding the clip point. The next thing I'm going to do is decide how much clipping I want to use in this song. If I want to do 1 dB of clipping, I'll pull the ceiling down 1 dB and then push play. So now you see we got 0.9 dB of clipping, so I'm having a nominal amount of clipping. And now I'm going to move on to using the gold and alchemy process. Since this is a full mix, I'm going to start with the modern gold processing. The next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of alchemy, try a modern box tone, and then do an AB. So what you're hearing there is unity pass through, but you're hearing that nonlinear gain being added to the signal. It's bringing up low level information. It's making the decay of instruments last longer, and it's just making things sound more full and sound more expensive. Go clip. <laughs> 